The goblins have overtaken High Pass Road, blocking the vital connection between East and West. Here, Glorfindel and Glowin now face their first challenge as they battle to retake the pass. The attack on Rivendell came from farther north, but before we can track the evil to its source, we must clear High Pass of the goblin invaders. I'm ready. High right. Pass is a dangerous place. We should build up a base before going any further. So, we're gonna do exactly that. First things first, we're gonna build a Maloran tree. Maloran trees are the main resource building for the elves. Each faction has their own different resource building, and in this case, uh, for goblins, it's tunnels. For men, it's farms. For dwarves, it's mines. For Isengard, it's furnaces. And for Mordor, it is slaughterhouses. So yeah, we're gonna build a Maloran tree real quick. We have many structures. There we go. We'll need more soldiers than this. We'll need to build the barracks. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to build an elven barracks now. And on top of that, we're going to build a green pasture, which trains cavalry. Now, if you notice, the building system is a lot different in this game, where you can build anywhere you want, as long as um, it doesn't take up, any, like, like, example, you can't, like, build a barracks on top of a Maloran tree. So it's a little limited. Well, it's obviously going to be limited, but, you know, it's overall really good. And I honestly prefer this over how building worked in the previous game we must build battle towers to guard our camp it is time to build all right so now that we have a green pasture and a barracks we're gonna go build some battle towers as well and also a couple more maloran trees just so we can have you know a few more structures to work with all right in the meantime though we are gonna do a little bit of exploring first all right have infested the paths through these mountains we must make them safe once more Building supplies coming. It's a All right. Goblin land. So over here, we got um, some goblins. The layers have returned in this game as well. There are a couple more of them, which we'll see later on. And okay, we're gonna build another battle tower to be safe. Yeah. So for your fortress, you can actually build other attachments to it. You can build a wall hub or a watchtower. At the moment, we will be gaining access to a couple more. Um, as time goes on, but for now those are all we can build All right, so let's have Gloin go in and attack that well, let's get some of our spells going over here just to make things a little bit better Okay, cool, and let's just go make sure we grab that treasure and we're gonna have Glorfindel and Gloin take care of that There we go. Gloin's now finally level four. Oh shoot. There's some uh, goblins over there Yeah, we'll have Glorfindel take care of them because they're gonna be pretty simple uh, yeah, that should be it for all of the enemies over here. Oop, we need that treasure. All right, and now we're also going to, um, build some... Well, we're going to upgrade these with Silverthorn arrows. Silverthorn are essentially the elven equivalent of fire arrows. Except they have knockback to them, which is really fun. All right, and we're also going to build a battalion of archers. And in a moment, we're going to get a battalion of lancers. They're gonna have to wait a moment, because I kind of wasted my money on buying the Silver Thorn Arrow uh, upgrade on them. Okay, cool. So now what we're gonna do is... Okay, we're gonna get that built. So yeah, now we can build a battalion of Rivendell Lancers, which is gonna be really good. And it'll definitely help us out quite a lot in this area, because goblins don't really do well against trampling. Alright. Oh, yeah, one other thing I really need to mention. You know how in the past you'd have to either wait for your buildings to upgrade or other crud like that until you would get access to other troops or anything like that and you have to or you'd have to build a bunch of troops in order to upgrade them. Nope, that is a thing of the past now. Now you have an upgrade cost to upgrade each of your buildings. So, yeah, it's really helpful now. And just now a matter of gather enough resources and bam, you're going to have a whole new like you'll be able to upgrade your structures that is way better than how it worked in the first game it is infinitely the superior method like like the superior way this place is not fitting and now you can be able to get upgrades like fire arrows and stuff like that for, well for other factions anyway a lot faster which is really nice all right let's go we've expanded the green build that 
man, I really wish that the uh, first game ended up doing that kind of method, like upgrade method. It would have made upgrading units a lot easier. Anyway, now we're going to go all the way over here. Hmm, I wonder what's going to be over here. Hopefully nothing too dangerous, right? The ice tower, it's collapsing. We have a new structure. Our path is blocked. We need to find another way through. Yeah, so now we need to find another way around because this mountain giant decided to be a jerk and break down this ice tower. Crud. That shouldn't be too hard though. Let's just go this way now. And one thing I also want to do is upgrade the forge real quick because once we get to rank 3, we'll be able to get Silverthorn arrows for our archers. Which that's going to be really helpful. Alright, is there anywhere else I can build with the mountain trees? Not necessary. Uh, we could probably build one up here to be safe. Where should we build? And then build like a couple towers just to defend it. All right, so what we're gonna quote, we're gonna go quickly destroy all of these guys. Uh, we're gonna put this on a toggle right now. Well, or I say toggle. Um, we're gonna make it so he can use it whenever he wants. That's the better way to put it. Warren's gonna use his new Earthshaker ability, which is gonna completely destroy that goblin hole, which is really good. All right, Glorfindel, please help them out. All right, there we go. All right, looking good so far. So now let's go take out those goblins, and we're gonna go build another Malorn tree around here because, well, the goblins are never gonna be able to get here either. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be fine. All right, so let's go build another tower over here and have our troops. Oh boy, some of them got completely owned. Yikes, uh, that's not good. All right, uh, let's go improve the forge again and finish off the rest of these goblins that are over here. Uh, guys, can you please attack the actual goblins that are a threat right now? That'd be amazing. Thank you, Lancers. All right, one thing I'm also gonna do is build a well like down here so we can have any of our troops retreat and get healed up. All right, uh, one thing I do want to do again is buy another battalion of archers just to be safe. All right, so far things are looking pretty good for us. Got a couple towers built, got some Malorn trees going, pretty good. So now let's just get going over. Well, get moving over here. Why not? It seems like there's going to be some good stuff over here. I hope. Oh, yeah. One thing I also like about this is you can actually go look over here and see what the goblins are doing. There's not much that they're doing, but it's cool that you get to see where their base is. And that's what we're going to do, Gloin. And now we have the Enshrouding Mist. This debuffs your enemies and also makes it so your guys can stealth a bit, a little easier, which is really nice. I underestimated a lot as a kid because I thought, man, Shrouding Mist doesn't seem that powerful. It's, it's what a debuff. I prefer to buff my guys, but no, you want to use Enshrouding Mist quite a bit. It's actually darn good. All right, so now let's go buy the Silverthorn Arrow upgrade. Actually, let's buy the armor upgrade. Anyone all wonder what I bought earlier for my castle? It is the Enchanted Anvil. It decreases the cost of Forge Blades. Well, I think just all of your upgrades. If not, then just Forge Blades and... Oh, okay, so there's some trolls over there as well. Let's get rid of them. But yeah, I think it's only for Forge Blades and Heavy Armor. I also really like the Elven uh, Heavy Armor design. When we see it, it's going to look really nice. All right, so we're going to go finish off this troll and quickly destroy this uh, cave troll. Cave. And that's not great. There's a mountain giant over there. So let's get Glorfindel on his horse real quick. And crap. All right, so yeah, we're going to have to deal with that giant in a moment. It doesn't seem like he's going to destroy this ice tower or else we would probably would lose the map if he did. But we're fine right now. So let's go quickly grab some other stuff for our units. Um... We should probably also give some of our swordsmen the he Actually, let's go give the Lancers the heavy armor because they're going to need the most and have our units attack. Alright, uh, let's also... Okay. Now let's give another one of these battalions the heavy armor as well. 
And we should probably heal them up. So Glorfindel and his Lancers are going to go in. Yeah, unfortunately, whenever Glorfindel is mounted, he does lose access to Blade of Purity. But that's why level 6, he actually gets something different that he can only use when mounted. Which is really nice. Alright, uh, let's give these guys the heavy armor and silver thorn arrows, finally! Alright, and let's get our guys over here. Haldir is trapped on the bluff to the north. We must rescue him. Cut them down. We have the forged blades. So right there is Haldir. Spears ready? If that name is any, well, is like remotely familiar to you all, that's because he is the elf who ended up bringing in a bunch of Lothlorien elves to help Aragorn um, and all of Rohan at Helm's Deep. So yeah, he's actually a playable character in this game, as he probably should have been um, in the first game. Would have been nice, but oh well, better late than never. So we're going to have Glorfindel and his team come in here and help Haldir. So Haldir is similar to Boromir, uh, in a sense where he only has three powers, one of them being a leadership. And on top of that, he has a form of splash damage and is like one of the cheapest heroes to bring out. So, overall, I would also say he's actually really good, especially because whenever he reaches level 9, he gets access to his Golden Arrow. And Golden Arrow is really good, because it can do a lot of damage to an enemy, and on top of that, it also causes a uh, Cloud Break to um, activate, which causes all enemies to... Um, causes all enemies to basically be in fear for a moment, and they won't do anything to you, which is really nice. Alright, so now that we have that, we're going to have all of our troops go in and try and take out all of these goblins that are being really annoying. Alright, uh, let's try and give heavy armor to all of these guys. Have our archers do what they can, because now we're going to fight some of the heavy armored goblins. Yeah, they're actually bringing in heavy armored units pretty early, huh? Dang. But alrighty then. We've dealt with them pretty up. Oh, there's still one more left. All right, guys, deal with them. Up uh, any moment now, guys. Also, wow, some of our guys are pretty low. Let's give everyone the banner carriers. So that at least that we can. Also, Haldir is one of the faster units in this game because a lot of attack speed and getting nerfed in this game. But Haldir is actually still pretty fast, all things considered. So that's one really good thing about him. All right. So now we're gonna go all the way over here so we can finish off that one bonus objective Lancers. And I actually really like using the Rivendell Lancers. They're really fun To be fair Calvary in these games are just really fun in general and Okay, Glorfindel's under attack there. So let's go heal him up real quick uh, Gloin's a little far behind so let's just try and have him catch up because man I would love him to reach level six. Well, not sorry level six uh, level five that would be great. Oh man, he's actually almost there. Dang. Oh yeah, one thing I need to mention about some of the goblins. Oh. Yep, let's go destroy that. Yeah, one other thing I should mention about the goblins is they have poison abilities, which means when one of your units is poisoned, they will lose health over time. It's actually quite annoying when your unit gets you know, inflicted by it. So you gotta be careful. And also, I can't believe I completely forgot about this goblin cave, so we're gonna have to destroy that real quick. Thank goodness Glorfindel has a horse, or else this would be a little long. <laughs> ah, good lord. Alright, let's take a good look at this. Okay, not bad. Still gotta destroy a few more things, but they should all be in this goblin camp. Yeah, that'll be easy to destroy. Uh, let's go quickly spend some of the extra money we have at the moment on upgrading our towers. There is work to be done. Because we're basically set. Watch oh. Out for the towers. They have the yeah, I know. Why are you guys going over there? I didn't want you guys to go over here. I Actually, you know what? I'm fine with that. Go ahead. Oh, cool. Gloin caught up. So that means we can have Gloin go deal with uh, one of these towers. That's going to be nice. Do, do, do. Okay, we're gonna use his special ability, and also we gotta get rid of the spider riders. Spider riders are goblin cavalry. They're actually really fun. At least as a fun concept and stuff. And Gloin surrounded. That's not good. All right, yeah, we're. This is a perfect time to use this. Yep. Any minute now. There we go. 
No, wrong way. Come on, Gloin. We gotta get this right. There we go. That's good. All right, let's go use the Enshrouding Mist as well, just to be safe. All right, yeah, Gwen's a little too low. Let's have him fall back for now. I can't believe... It must have been this Fire Tower that did a lot to him. Because normally he does really good. It, it might have also been my own incompetence there. Also, wait, Cor Corfinel? Why the... Oh, we didn't fully destroy that. You know what? Yeah, we can have him finish that off real quick. All right, let's have our troops fall back at the m moment. Uh, let's go have the Lancers actually finish their job that they were supposed to do, but till I called them back. And Gloin's gonna do some heal, like, he's gonna heal up a little bit for now. All right. Um, so far, I'd like to say we're doing pretty good. Glorfindel, there you are, buddy. All right, go join up with them. Meanwhile, these guys are just gonna go and annihilate this. There we go. We must keep our borders safe. Oh yeah, one thing I completely forgot to mention as well, though. We um, so you might see your command point factor over here. Malorn trees, or whatever your resource building is, whenever they're built, give you 50 extra command points, and every time they level up, they give you 25 extra. So at maximum, they can give you 100, is which is really good. We must keep our borders safe. And all right, let's get rid of that tower real quick. Wait. And... And right there is the Watcher! Yeah, so the Watcher is in this game now. And it's also really strong. Well, in a sense, where your melee units don't do- Don't send melee. Just whatever you do, don't send melee. They will die- Ew, speaking of dying. Uh-oh. Fall back. Because I don't want these guys to die. Jeez. All right. Careful. We want to get rid of these guys, but we don't want to lose our stinking archers. Alright, there we go. Okay, let's have all of our guys fall back. And have our archers attack that stinking watcher. Okay, fall back, you guys. You're a little too close. There we go. That should be better. Alright, so yeah, this is why I recommend buying the Silverthorn arrows, because it makes this go by a lot faster. I usually recommend two, maybe three or four, like... You know, any number of archers to deal with this final bit, just to make it go by a little faster. Yeah, okay, so the Elven Woods should definitely help us whenever it comes to our damage output, and we should almost be finished. There we go, the Watcher is done, but we still need to destroy some of the Goblin Camp, which should be up here. So let's just mass select our guys, and have them all go in, and up. Oh, only one last thing, the Goblin Tunnel. So let's go get rid of it. And we will be all set once this is gone. There we go. And we're done. The shadow has been turned back. There we go. We did darn good, guys. With the Goblin Army chased from High Pass, Elves can now travel to the lands beyond the Misty Mountains. The war against the Goblins continues. So, overall, we did really good. That actually took a little while, though. Dang, I forgot how long High Pass can take. Huh. We also did really good with our resources. And our final score? Darn good. Alrighty, then. So, favorite unit was Lorian War- Really? I guess it's only because we had three of them at the start and we never built any more of them. And since we didn't buy any extra, uh, stinking, um, archers and only- Well, you only built, like, two battalions of archers and one battalion of lancers. That's how they won out. And on top of that, the ones that we got from, um, Haldir. So, that makes sense. And, yeah, I'd say we did really good. So, next time- we are going to go to the Eden Moors. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day, guys. Bye!